my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright guys, so let's step into Photoshop and control N. So let's type here 1500 pixels, 1500 pixels, set here to pixels, 72 RGB, 8 bit. I'm um, leaving here like this. I um, want to use it for sound system flyer. And then we click on create. You also want to set your rulers. Now if you're wondering where your rulers are, if they're not showing up, just click on control R. They will show and then you drag the lines to its appropriate place. Now I'm setting the lines because of alignment. I just want all my my text to be centered and look nice and and handsome not beautiful handsome so we are done with this let's start with the background go to color solid color I would like to choose black and then also I will bring this choose ellipse tool and then just hold shift and then create your circle Control T to transform it. Perhaps drag it a little bit. I like to push it to around somewhere here. Somewhere here works well for me. And then let me see. Also, this is quite good for me. So I click on OK. Then I'll duplicate it and then. I would sorry this one the one beneath it double click it and then key in this particular figure FF four three zero E oh, now it's beneath the white one so what we want to do is Alright, so with your mouse over here, you just want to hold shift and then alt and then drag it this way. Alright, then set it up a little bit, just a little bit. So this is what we have. Um, I don't like it, I don't like it. So click on it and then I don't like the effect so you bring it in rather alright bring it in rather and then drag it up let's see how it looks like So this is quite good this is quite good the next thing we are going to do is we want here we don't want here to be too dull when we put our speakers and our sound system on it so let's bring an image let's bring this one now there's a way you can go about it to not make it dull but I, I one of the ways is to use um, an image you could use a texture something like that or even gradient but I, I love to use this and so something like this um, I would click here and click on screen then I'll set the opacity to let's say 8% so that way it feels like there's something in the background I would also give it a new layer click on my brush to make sure my caps log is off pick the soft round brush and then increase the size of the brush all right so around this size is quite good make sure the color is color white and click somewhere here now this also makes it quite wonderful let's put everything in a folder and then let's let's just call it back ground So with it like this, we can start bringing our images 
or um, the speakers let's bring this one and then drag it there increase the size a little bit remember we can always come back to resize them and then we could bring this drag it in there as well and then resize it now it doesn't look good here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it back to give it a little bit uh, perspective and then maybe flip it horizontal but I want this side to align with this side so that it looks quite real so you can see it looks quite real now I also duplicate it flip it horizontal and drag it to this side I'll perhaps send it here so it also looks quite real then I will bring the last image which is this now remember you can you can just play with whatever whatever image you have my arrangement will be different from yours <laughs> so play with whatever image you have just find the right ones as well and I'll set it somewhere here somewhere here I think is good but let me send it up a little bit up a little bit okay so this feels good for me it looks too crowded I know right it looks too crowded but um, this is good for me other than that I would like to reduce this a little bit to reduce this a little bit and send it to the floor again then I would like to reduce this too a little bit and then the main one I would also like to increase it a little bit send it up a little bit as well so so ladies and gentlemen this is this is an example of how you could do yours um, feel free to arrange yours any way you want it's just pure experiment so the way you feel like you just use it now I'm going to put everything here in a folder or in a group I'm going to call it image also I am going to duplicate the image then the one beneath it I'm going to click on control E yeah control E to merge it like this and once it's merged I will transform it control T and then flip it vertical then I'll drag it down I'll drag it down until this side matches with this side or this side matches with this side okay so I can see it matches there that is what I was looking for and then I'll give it your opacity of um, let's say perhaps 95 95% give it a mask pick your brush to reduce it a little bit and then make sure here it's 100% also change the flow to 100% set here to black P pick a brush click this side and then let's clean it then change the opacity to 50% alright now change here to white and then reduce it a little bit and then around here just so that it shows a little bit you know let's see how it looks like so it looks like it is um, you know the floor looks quite shiny and stuff like that I'll open the image and then drag it in there so that everything is there now the next step is to start with our logo so I'll pick Seth Bunny 
and then paste it there and then I'll change the font to railway also set it to regular and then make sure here is also text and then it's just color white but then the font size I'm going to set it to 29 and then position it somewhere in the middle duplicate it and then drag the other one there as well pick sound solution but I believe you have your own um, logo if <laughs> sorry I believe you have your own logo so and your own name and I trust you'll be using that one rather all right so I'm going to make here extra bold where are you extra bold extra bold yeah there's it the size I'm going to leave the size the same and I'm also going to set the font color to perhaps bring it closer a little bit let's zoom in to see it well so so the next step is to bring our logo drag it in there and then we size it let's see so I think this is good now let's put everything in a folder and let's call it logo control T and let's align it in the middle so that the whole it doesn't go to one side come down a little bit let's see now also take notice the distance between here and here should be the same distance between here and here but you could you could do it you could not do it like that and still get away with it but you know it's an old habit that I, I, I love to do so click here and let's put in the rest of the details we provide the following services type it there let's change the color to black so that we can see what we type all right let's go to the font and then let's use Helvetica oh we don't have Helvetica here. Uh, let's go for Helvetica if you've been watching my tutorials you realize that I leave the fonts in the description for you let's change the this place to bold I always leave it there for you and let's leave the size to 45 okay also make sure here is checked as well and then I think this is good Control T and then let's align it duplicate it and bring it down make sure you click on your move to so these are some of the services that the guys provide paste drag it somewhere here so with this what we are going to do is we are going to use the same Helvetica but we are not going to set it to bold let's use regular now as I said earlier in other previous videos I'm going to leave it in the description for you to watch it so that you understand certain concepts as well make sure the fonts are not the same and even if they are the same make sure they are not the same weight or they are not the same bold and then at least change it to it italics or make it just regular make one bold change the color if you can and so these things are some of the things that you do to make it quite nice and then change the font size to 36 so you can see I don't use the same font size else it will not look cool set it to black now if you could set if, if you could set it to a different color please feel free to do it but then I will not set it to a different color but then you see here's caps here's the same I want to change it to this as well so you see uh, they, are not, they are not the same they are never the same with this way your, your flyers will look so so they will look much improved they will look so beautiful then we'll pick this and then I would like you to practice these principles and then let me know how it goes your work would improve massively trust me it will improve massively 
just with this one concept maybe some other video I'll talk about space space in graphic designing what space can do for you so with this selected duplicate it and send it somewhere here and let's pick the rest of the details PA system PA system what I'm going to do is I don't like going up and down so I just click here and then oh sorry hold shift and then drag it duplicate it again then pull it here oh so let's pick the rest I think with graphic design if you get a concept right you are just good to go you are just good to go because everything else will flow from there will flow from that mindset so you see I am trying to align it I'll pick this 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 and this and I'll duplicate it and I'll bring it down somewhere here Then I'll pick music repair, paste it here with this, and then this, send it here a little bit, there a little bit. Pick audio production, paste it there, a and then I'll put everything in a folder and call it services. I also like to drag it down just a little bit the other thing is let's type our with this the person opens and paste it there it's no pixels I don't know what it means Photoshop must be sick alright so let's set it to Arial let's set it to Arial and then let's set it to regular as well change here to 32 set it to black and then send it somewhere here now let's put in this so you see so you see it's the way I think that's how I do it I just don't want it to be the same I try as much as possible not to make them look the same let's name this one Saturday name this one Saturday select both of them and then choose this and then drag it this way then I'll type here call And then paste it there. Perhaps pull it up here a little bit. I'm going to use Helver ticker. So in this particular tutorial, I didn't use much fonts. Set it to bold. And then I'll set the size to 41. Also make it color white, but I won't do that right now. Also set here to uppercase. Now I'll put this here and I'll put this here. I'll pick the round rectangular two and then I'll set here to 10. Then I'll set here to this particular color two to zero E zero eight. So I use this particular color and then I will just draw it to this point and drag it beneath it. Then I'll change this color to color white. You could experiment with any color you want. So I'll set it to color white. Let's move it somewhere in the middle. 
of it. Okay. Let's zoom out. Alright. So, with it like this, you want to put also everything in a folder and then let's name it call <laughs> I don't know why but it sounds good call let's try and set it up a little you know why I'm setting it up I want the distance between this and this to be the same distance between this and this or perhaps this and this okay Next thing is, I think we're almost done, right? So I'll pick this. We just need to know the location of the person. So that if we want to drive there and tell the person our mind, we can easily do that. Set it like this. And then pick it. Paste it there. It looks too bold so I'm still going to use the same Helvetica but I'm not going to set it to bold let's set it to regular now it looks quite better but then I'm still play with the font let's type 30 let's say 32 and then let's see now it looks good Thirty two. so what we're going to do is let's click on it then let's see so we could use 22 or 22.3 all right but make sure it is centered make sure it is centered cannot emphasize that enough or you could even make it you know italics that way I'm sure you could set it to 32 and then it will work right just need to center it let's bring let's bring this then let's resize it send it somewhere here put this one in the folder put this one in the folder let's name it location with this one double click this side of it and then go to color overlay then change it to white and then click on ok we could also we could also tilt it like this just to give it a little you know <laughs> I don't know how to even put it. <laughs> Just to make it appeal into the eyes. Appeal into the eyes, yeah. This side looks too monotonous. Too monotonous. Too, too monotonous. So, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let's try something. Let's try something. Let's put this one here. Alright, let's put this one here. Let's try something and see. Then let's make the one, two, three, four. Let's make them white. Oh, there's one here too as well. Let's make it white. And then one, one, two, three, four, five click on U or let's go to the rectangular tool and then let's set it to white as well now let's see um, let's put this one somewhere let's put this one in here 
let's drag it underneath everything okay and also let's put this one in there as well so everything is in the folder uh, we are done alright so guys thank you very much for watching this particular video please feel free to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already also like this video and comment below and I also like you to click on the bell icon so that anytime I upload new videos you won't miss out on any of them i love you all guys please see you in the next tutorial peace out